Greetings. Today I'm doing a video on the new release of Raw Therapy 5.10. Before I start, I'll head over to the Raw Therapy website here. And on the main page, I'm just going to come across where it says Release Notes. I'll open that. You can see the Raw Therapy 5.10 and the downloads that are available. Just scroll down. Here are the Windows installation instructions. That's what I use, a Windows machine. Below that, Linux installation and Mac OS. Just want to scroll down to new features. So I'm not going to cover all this, just a few of these, such as multiple custom external editors, and I'll show you how to set that up. The Favorites tab now can be configured from the Preferences. If we come down, also, when saving images in the TIFF file format, we have the option now for Big TIFF. Also, just reading through this information, what, what is available in 5.10, the improvements. So I'll just scroll down and also added or improved support for cameras and the list here showing the cameras. So we'll go back to Raw Therapy. So here's some of the changes that I've made to Raw Therapy. First off, the external editor. So here where the palette used to be, we can see the little Wilbur icon for GIMP. If I click the drop down arrow, you can see here the Wilbur icon for GIMP. Below this, I've added the 2.99.18, the development of GIMP, and below that Photoshop. So if I just click on the Wilbur icon, we'll open GIMP up. So we can see here it's open GIMP up with no problems. I'll just close that, come back to the drop down arrow, choose the development of GIMP and click on the palette. So we can see now it, the palette is here. Click on that. I'll just keep that pro photo and I'll open that. So we've successfully opened up the GIMP 2.99.18 development of GIMP from Raw Therapy. So I'll just close that. So once again, I'll come to the drop down arrow and choose Photoshop. And we still have the palette. I'll just open that. we can see here it's opened up Photoshop from Raw Therapy so I'll just close that so I'll show you how to set this up now I'll just bring it back to GIMP come to the preferences so under general if I scroll down we can see external editor and you can see how I've added the development of GIMP 2.99 and also Photoshop. So what I'll do, I'll remove these and I'll leave the stable version of GIMP there. So if I click OK and I come back to the drop down arrow we can see it's no longer there. So back to preferences, scroll down to the external editor and I'll just press plus so if I click on change application and view all applications, in my Windows system, it's not here. It's not available in this. So I'll just click on cancel and go to change executable. So I'll click on that. So you can see here I've got Adobe Photoshop GIMP 2.99 and this stable version of GIMP here. What I'll do, I'll come to the local disk so this is for Windows users. I'll come to Program Files. And you can see Adobe Photoshop. What I'll first do is I'll select GIMP 2.99. So we can see here the folders that we have. I want to go to bin. And when you open it up here where it says executable files and it says debug, 
If you're on executable files, just click the drop down arrow and click on all files. And I want to find the development exe file. So if I just scroll down a little bit, we can see here GIMP 2.9 exe. So I'll click on that and open. So you can see here now it's been added, the development. I'll just click on here and I'll rename that 2.99 and enter. So now I'll add Photoshop. I'll click on the plus button again. Change executable back to local disk. And I'll scroll down to program files again. And up the top we have Adobe. I'll click on that. And on the bottom, Adobe Photoshop. So I'll open that up. So again, if you're on executable files and it just shows this, just click on the drop down arrow and all files. We want to find Photoshop EXE. So I'll just scroll down. EXP EXE. So Photoshop EXE. And now I'll just open. Check that. I'll rename that. PS and enter and now we have those added to the program so I'll click OK so now if we click the drop down arrow we can see GIMP the development 2.99 and Photoshop here so if I click on Photoshop once again and click on the palette open Photoshop we can see there Photoshop open successfully so I'll close that. So here on the right hand side where we normally do our edits, now we can see the favorites tab that I've added. And of course the exposure and the rest of the tabs that were available before in raw therapy. So if I scroll down, we can see here I've added the black and white color management, capture sharpening, demosaicing. And of course this is going to be for somebody's personal preference on what they use the most and what they decide to put in this favorites. So to do this, I'll come over to the preferences once again and come across to favorites. You can see the available tools here and what's actually in the favorites panel. So for example, if I come down to color and I want to remove vibrance. So we can see it there it's been taken off. But if we come over here it hasn't been removed yet until we click OK. You can see that removes that vibrance from there. And if we want to add it back, back to favorites, down to color, click on vibrance, OK, and then it adds it to our favorites tab. Also, in the exposure tab, we in highlight reconstruction, we have a new method called in paint. I haven't experimented with this yet, but this is one of the new options also available. Last off, I'm just going to put this image to the queue. I'll click on the queue where we export the images. Most of the time I'm sending them off as 16-bit TIFF files. But now we have the option here of Big TIFF. Also we can see here no metadata supported. So that's another one of the options available. So I'll just send that off. So that's a look at some of the new options available in Raw Therapy 5.10. Peace be unto you.